Hello and welcome to ITC TechShare. I'm Tom Grissom. In this demonstration, I will show you how to use the Smart Notebook version 10 Lesson Activity Toolkit. To begin, let's open up the Smart Notebook by double-clicking on the icon on the desktop. Once you have the Smart Notebook open, I'm going to move from the Page Sorter view to the Gallery view. And in the previous episode, we talked about the Gallery Essentials tools. In this episode, I would like to talk about the Lesson Activity Toolkit version 2.0. To begin, let's click on the folder in the upper pane labeled Lesson Activity Toolkit 2.0. Whenever I press on the folder, it expands to show me all of the different options that I have. And we have many different options here that we can use as teachers to make our own unique lessons. To begin with, let's click on the plus or the folder icon here to expand the different choices. And as you can see, there are a lot of pre-made templates out there. Most of these are Flash-based games, so you do need to have Flash installed on your computer. But let's say that we need to do an image match. We would like for the students to match an image and a word. So let me choose the image match folder. And by double clicking, and we see in the lower pane, the different types and we're in the interactive and multimedia and it shows us that we have six objects to choose from in this particular image batch and these are different colors so we have blue brown green orange purple and teal they're all the same essentially template they're just different colors so let's grab the blue image match template and let's move it over to the main area of the smart notebook you'll notice that it opens up and we have an edit tab a check reset and solve button so right now this is just nothing more than a blank template so I'm going to click the edit button and it's showing me that I need to drag an image in this case we have the number of images displayed as two we can change that all the way up to five but let's leave it at the default of two so I'm going to go to my computer folder and open up my pictures and let's drag a picture here of the tulips and we'll drag a picture of the penguins and I'll drop that minimize this to get the folder out of the way now it says type text here so whatever uh, word that you would like to use to describe this picture so I'm just going to call flowers for this one and for the text over here I'll type in penguins once you have that and you're satisfied with it you can use the salt button and say okay now then we just simply have two different objects here so I'll just click hold and drag the flowers underneath the flowers picture and penguins underneath the penguins picture we can click check and we got them both right let's reset it so we can do uh, the next student can come up and we'll grab this this time let's miss this on purpose so we'll do this and then we can say check and it says oops we've got them both wrong so we need to switch these places and solve it again and check our answer and we've got them both right this time so that's a very quick way uh, it's got some intelligence built in so you know whether you've got the answer right or wrong or the student knows let's go to page sorter view here let's make a new page so now we're on a blank page page two go back to our gallery and we are still in our lesson activity toolkit there are literally hundreds of these choices that you could use so let's do a keyword match so if I click on the keyword match folder I see that I have interactive multimedia I can drag one over from the left here to the right once again you'll see the edit button at the top so maybe you're doing a list of vocabulary words say we're doing elementary level vocabulary words so we can type in our word here and a description and we'll just use the sounds we'll say dog and let's say bark Let's do duck. And you can go all the way up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a very nice little lesson for vocabulary. Once we're satisfied with it, we can do our word match. So now then the student would come up to the smart board and click hold and drag the different labels here. So a dog would bark and a cat would meow. Once again, we've got a check button here, so we can check, and we did get them all right. We can reset this, go on for the next one, and again, let's miss something on purpose here. So let's go out here and say check our answer, and you can see that we got those two switched. So we could very quickly take care of that. 
and the students are up here on the board manipulating the different choices. All right, let's add a new page. Let's scroll on down and see some different choices. We've got some different options. We can go to pairs, for example, click on our interactive and multimedia tab. And this is kind of turn, o turn over the card and see if we can match. So let's go up to our edit button. And the teachers totally, you know, they have the complete freedom to, to make this whatever they would want to do. So we can come up here, number of pairs, we'll do two pairs. And if I say OK to this and edit, and we can drag our different images. So let's do flowers. Let's drag a flower there and a flower image here. And then let's do animals on the second pair. And we'll choose the koala bear here. So now then, we very quickly have a couple of pairs out there. We can say OK. Now then, the teacher has this ready to go. So the student would come up and tap on one, and we get a koala bear click on another one we get a flower so that was not a match so let's do one and three and again not a match so let's do one and four and there we go and then that leaves number two and number three and we had it and we've got our number of attempts and the best score we can reset it and the next student uh, can come up and try it. We can have a variety of these. It's very quick to do and very easy uh, for everyone to make up whatever lesson, really customize it for what you want to do. The word guess game, uh, this is a little fun activity. Go down here, let's make a new page once again. So we've got a blank page and let's choose the blue word, word guess game. Once again, we've got an edit button. So you've got complete freedom over whatever word that you would like to use and we can do multiple words. So let's go up here and again, let's just do something really simple. Let's do cat and the clue and let's do dog. Let's get those in the correct place. Now it's important that you do get those right because there is intelligence built. So whenever we check our answers, it's checking to make sure that these are, are matched up. So we'll say, okay, and in this case, we've got a little soccer game going. So we've got our three letters here. So it starts with the letter D. And let's say O is the second word. That was a correct letter, so we score. Let's choose H. Oop, that's a miss, so it's keeping score for us up here. And let's get it right with G. All right, well done. We've got that one. And then we can say next. Go on to our next word. It starts with a C. Let's say H. Nope, that's incorrect. A, that's correct. T, that's correct. Go on, and we've got one more word to do here. So let's do K, that's correct. Let's do C, that's correct. Let's miss one here. And then let's do U. Know, there we go, well done. We've got them, three goals, one miss. We can reset it once again, and we're ready for the next person, or we can simply go up here to the edit. If we don't wanna play soccer, we can play basketball or tomato splat. So that's just a quick example there of the, of the different word guess games. We've got a lot of other examples out there, activities, layering, pages, tools. However, the games button's a popular one. Let's add a new blank page here. We want to do, let's say, board games. We've got checkers. When I click on that in the lower pane, I have pictures of different checkers, or I have the notebook files and pages. So if I want a checkerboard, and this is interactive, so the students can come up out here and do the jump. And then this is not uh, ha does not have any intelligence, so you have to move the checker off the board if you make a jump, just like the real game. Let's add another new page, and let's go back to our notebook files and pages. Let's do chess. There's a really nice three-dimensional chess board out here. So you can come up here, rainy day in the classroom, recess or something, throw this up on the board, and the students can come out here and play a little virtual game of chess and, and move, the, uh, move the chess pieces around, take, take their turn. So just like the real game, but we're just using the touch features of the smart board to come up and use it. Also has crosswords. Uh, you can build your own crossword puzzles. It has an edit button similar to the games that I showed you. A deck of cards. Let's make a new page here. So we've got a complete deck of cards that we can, th can throw out here and play various card games and things. And then we've also got graphics, various graphics and things out there. Now, as teachers, you, uh, the pull tab feature is a really nice feature out here. 
a lot of times um, you need to provide some instruction for like either another teacher or a substitute teacher out there. So these pull tabs are used often for that. So you can come out here and write, let's backspace out of the text. It says enter your text here. So let's backspace this out and say have a student choose choose one card and then go ahead and type out what you would like for the student to do. Once you have that ready, this can pop off to the side, so this is kind of a visual cue for the student or the teacher to come out here and pull the set of instructions out there. So the student might pick this card here, and then you can go through the various activity, go ahead and provide a little bit more complete instructions for that. Uh, icons, borders, just a lot of different things that you have out here. Uh, little blue uh, exclamation marks, a lot of different objects, and since these are objects, you can make them larger or smaller. And let's collapse the graphics pages. Uh, we've got various types of pages, again, some interactive type games for the keywords, just a lot of different things. And then lastly, let's take a look at the tools. We have interactive and multimedia. We've got 37 objects here. So we've got some different tools and things that we can do. Again, you see the little F in red circle. That's the flash game. So here's a click and reveal star. Uh, if you click on that, it shows you a transparent effect. So what you would need to do on this one is you could go up and say, once again, we're working with vocabulary words. Let's type out the vocabulary word. Now then, if I move this star over on top of dog, you can see that whenever I click on it, uh, it, sh it reveals whatever's on the background. Now, you can also tell, if I click up here, whenever I do a mouse over, it shows me what's behind that. If you don't want the students to kind of peek through and see that, you can actually go up here and go to the order button and say, send that to the back. So now then the star is on top. Now then you, don't, you do not see the word behind there. So now then whenever the student clicks, you see whatever's listed below. So that's just a, a quick overview. Again, just hundreds of different things and thousands of different combinations that you can use out here as a teacher to creatively go through and add a little bit of spice to your lessons. And it, it really makes some nice interactive things. And that's one of the things that we really want to stress with the smart board, interactive whiteboards in general, is the students need to be up out of their seats and using these uh, different tools. So that's a quick overview. Until next time, this is Tom Grissom. Keep on learning.